Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just wanna make it last. And then, if you remove the old hoses at the top, we're gonna remove this one. This one's on your hook. On your hook here. There you go. It's on your hook there. And then we're gonna remove this connector. This one here. Just press this one. And then just pull. There you go. Press this one. Hopefully, you can see. Press this one. And just pull okay after that we're gonna uh this one is the hook see here hopefully you can see it this is the one that locked lock the filter uh, we'll zoom a little bit in yeah there you go that one there this one this is the hook so we're gonna bend a little bit yep we can bend this one a little bit like that Yep, there you go. Just a little bit. Yeah, not too much. And then, we can wiggle this one around. Ooh, voila! There you go. We are to remove our filter. And I'll show you some tricks. How to re replace this one. I'll bring it back first. Okay. Put it back. And now you can spin this one. If you have no vice uh, to hold on, you can spin it here. Just bring it back. You can spin this one uh, to loosen this one, this thing, the one with the groove. Uh, it's easy later, I will show you uh, upstairs if you remove, but we can loosen this one here by this one going to the left. See, that one already spin already. Show you, yeah, that one. See, if you can loosen it here by putting it back together on the, on the bracket. Okay, it's already loosened. Now we can remove this one. And because it's already released there, we can remove this one easy. There you go. Now it's already loosened. I'll show you now the trick. Woohoo! It's already out. So now we will open it more. It's easy now because we already loosened it. So we're gonna open this one more. I think the best way is to remove this one first because it will pull. Remove this one first, that one. And we already removed this one. And now we can squeeze this one going up. Lock it here because there's a fuel. I'll squeeze this one going up to divide these two. There we go. There you go. That's the. Now we divide it in two parts. Put it here first. Yep. You see, that's the old filter. That's the old filter already. Now we're gonna remove this gasket. Yeah. Just remember where where it sit. It's on the first layer. There. It's on the first layer. Throw this one because we have a new one. Okay, and then we're gonna pin this one. Laser. Now we can install our new filter. That's the part number. Now we can put this one back. Our gasket, the same location last time. In the front one here at the top. Like that, then good, and then we can put this one back. There you go. There you go. There's a uh, O-ring, O-ring, and the O-ring at the top. Okay, now we're gonna install it. Uh, there's the mark. Triangle, and the mark here also. Hopefully you can see it. There, triangle. But before we're gonna put it back, we're gonna spray it with silicone. 
silicone spray, so it's easy to put in. Just the uh, o-ring. Yep, and here also the thread. Just only the thread. There you go. So it's easy to put in. And no, this one also here, sorry. Inside here, silicone. Just a little bit to lubricate it. The o-ring leader. Okay, and now we can align this one now. Triangle there, triangle here, we can align it now, put it back. See, triangle here, triangle here. We can push, push this one now. There we go, push. Yeah, it's easy now because uh, it's easy to push in because there's no, there's a silicon. See, it's already in. Yeah, it's already in there. And our mark is also aligned. Show you our mark is aligned here and till here. Yeah, it's aligned straight. So we can close this one now. Push a little bit more. <coughs> yep, close this one. Spin this one. more spin align the thing yeah it's easy to align because we have some silicone <clears throat> uh, need more see we need to align this one here so I'm gonna hook this one again on the bracket there so we have leverage. I'll hook this one. Okay, I hook, I hook, I hook this one on the bracket there. And it's, I already aligned it, you see? It's already aligned. Star, ah, triangle, align there, and you can align it here also. So that's good. It's already in, and we can bring this one back. This one, the bottom here. Is the sensor for the water and yeah we can tighten this one a little bit just don't over tight this one because so you can easily drain the water yep just untight okay that's it and we're ready to install it and then we're gonna put this one back the one with the circle that's the one we're gonna put it back first. Put this clamp back. Okay, now we're gonna put some rags here. And now we're gonna bleed the system. We're gonna re remove the air on the system and we're gonna replace it with a pure fuel. How are we gonna do that one? This is how I do it. Put that one back, the one on the tank, coming on the tank. Then I hold this one, I close this one, then pump. Pump this one, there's a pump here, like this one i show you, see, that one, pump, pump a couple of times and release, see, there's a pressure already coming out, pump again, release, pump again, release, and when you, if you can feel this one is hard already, yeah, you can release this one, if you can feel this one is hard already, you can release this one, and then just hold, put the rags here and just pump here slowly yep pump slowly when you can feel this one is hard it's okay to open this one pump yep just pump slowly because it will spray diesel yep, nearly there 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 you go see when that one comes out see when the fuel comes out already, it means the air, there's no air in the system. We're gonna put back this one. The one with a straight line. This one back. And close this one, the clamp. There you 
I go. And pump a little bit more. Okay, that's good. It's quite hard. And we can actually this one will release also some fluid here. If you pump further, it will release fluid here also. You see, it's removed already. Like there's a fuel coming out there. Yeah, that's right. And then we can bring this one back now. This one is on the. You will not be mistaken with this one because, yeah, you cannot be mistaken because of the angle of the, the angle of the, the hose. We can put this one back now. Okay, so good. Now we can try to start the car and see if it's leaking. Start. Pump brakes. Go, it starts. I think we're good guys there's no leak on the fuel filter and the oil filter there's no leak so we're good with that one and I'm happy there's no leak and it starts right away and uh, I think that's it for this video guys thanks for watching again see you in the next video please hit like again and subscribe and hit the bell notification and also shout out again to the owner of this one sir cory sir cory thank you thumbs up and see you in the next video guys oliver signing out salam to Dios. losing time i'm fading fast i just want to